In this video, I want to break down the standing desk project and show you just how I made the hairpin legs. If you haven't seen my standing desk project, I'll leave a link down below. The metal that I'm using comes from engine shipping crates, and it would otherwise just be thrown away. It's an eighth inch thick, and it's probably overkill for this project, but it's what I had on hand, so I thought I'd use it. I'm using six pieces in total, and each piece is roughly 16 inches long. Basically, this jig is made up of two rectangles connected along the bottom by two more pieces of steel. I began by taking four of the pieces and making a relief cut along one edge. Then I would clamp it down to the bench and hammer it into a 90 degree angle. And once I had those four pieces cut, I could weld them together. And now that I have the two rectangles made, I just need two more pieces to stretch along the bottom and connect the two. Then I needed to cut two pieces to stretch the other way along the bottom and act as a platform for a bottle jack. Now this next step isn't completely unnecessary and it actually failed on me as you'll see later in the video. I still think it's a good idea, I would just need to find some stronger pulleys. So the idea is to have one pulley on each side and the pulleys act as guides as the metal rod is being pushed on from underneath by the bottle jack. I still want to get some stronger pulleys someday and try it again, but it worked regardless. So now the jig is made and it's time to test it out. And just to give you some sort of time reference, it only took me about 5 minutes to bend each one of these. I left them long to start, and after each one was bent, I took them back to the table and cut them each to the same length. I picked up some corner braces and then began to measure the length for the third leg. I started with the third leg and I welded that onto the corner brace as vertically straight as I possibly could get it. Then I centered the hairpin on top of the third leg and tacked that in place. Once that was tacked in place I could move down to the two remaining loose ends and tack those onto the corner brace.
I wanted to remove the little bit of surface rust as well as the oils from my hands. So I took some lacquer thinner and wiped each of them down before spraying each with four coats of clear satin spray paint. And that's it. All that's left to do is to bolt it onto the project you're working on. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, it'd be awesome if you could hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want to see the full project video of the stand-up desk, I'll leave a link below. Thanks for watching.